Let's talk about the architecture of what we're going to do and where everything fits in, okay? Uh, you may have seen these slides already uh, back in the beginner's course if you remember, but let's go over them again. So here is Kafka in the middle. And we have our source systems and we have our Java producers. We already know this. We've been writing a ton of them. Then we have our target systems. And to get to Kafka to the target systems, you already know the answer. It is a Java consumer. Fairly easy so far, right? So now we have the Confluence Schema Registry. Where does it fit? So we have our Kafka cluster, and below it, we have our Kafka Schema Registry. Now our Java producers now produce Avro data. But you may say, what? Don't they just produce the Avro data straight to the Kafka cluster? It's because they will go ahead and register the schema with the Kafka Schema Registry. So very important. And we'll go over what that means when we get to the section on the schema registry. Just remember at a high level right now what this is. Don't worry, we'll go over this again. This is just an intro. Finally, our Java consumers will read our data from Kafka, but they will also need to retrieve the schema from the Kafka schema registry in order to decrypt that our data. Okay, so the only difference from the before is that now we have a Kafka schema registry in the middle alongside our Kafka cluster. For the REST proxy, how does it work? We have Kafka, and we have a REST proxy. So the REST proxy actually also talks to the schema registry to register and retrieve schemas on the go. We have our non-Java producers, which will send HTTP POST request to Kafka REST proxy, and the Kafka REST proxy will go ahead, register the schema, and write the data to Kafka. For the non-Java consumers, well, they will do HTTP GETs on the REST proxy, and the REST proxy will consume data from Kafka and forward it to those, and it will also retrieve the schema from the schema registry, okay? So this is what the target architecture we're gonna get to. This is what we're gonna implement. This is what we're gonna code against. So I want you to remember those. This is again an intro. We'll go over this again in the next lectures, but this is good for you to see where we're about to get to, okay? So I hope you're excited for this course. I will see you in the next section.